a tough job sitting and waiting on the clouds, but the best part is haven't had to shovel a one of them, not all season. No matter how cold it gets, ain't shoveling no clouds. So Durf is a Key West burn man. And check this out. He's here at Key West Bait and Tackle. And he's everywhere, really. You, you had one at Pigeon Key this last week, didn't you, Durf? Yeah, I was up there at the art festival, and I do the artisan's market here in town. And I actually kind of wander around town a lot. I, uh, Higgs Beach. Actually work on, a, on the corner out in front of my house quite a bit. People ask me, it's like, oh, is the sun better over here? It's like, it's Key West. The sun is pretty much good everywhere. But sometimes I'm kind of in a push to try and get something done. And although it's all about meeting and getting to talk to people, sometimes it's a distraction when you're on some kind of a deadline. That was what the worst part about that Pigeon Key piece was. It was on a deadline. I'd had two of them. And the, the first one... I had probably three quarters of the way done before I started on that one, and this one was looking good, and the more I looked at the other one, I went, it ain't gonna work, and I can't fix it. Here we go again. So in between the clouds you're working, and I'm Captain Marlon Scott, and on my wander, as I make my way through Key West, taking care of errands, and on a windy day, this is how we do it. I, I run into Durf, and he's here waiting for the sun, and this uh, this is a pretty intense sun, and, and come May, June, it's going to be like fire, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's uh, it ends up being just crazy. The worst part about it is not only are they bright and hot and sunny, but we have seven or eight hours of it, and it, I mean, I do it, but it gets pretty darn tough spending six, seven, eight hours in the hot sun. Because you've got to be in the direct sun. You can't, yeah. you can't be shaded because well, you need the sun. The funny part about it is one day I, in fact, when I was working on this, I got here early and I had a mirror propped up over by the bike rack. And Joe stood there and he's watching what I'm doing and he looks and he says, Okay, I know you're doing that with the sun, and that's here, but the sun's there. How are you doing that? It's like I'm bouncing it off that mirror out in the parking lot. Yeah, it's amazing what he's done. Now, check this out. Here's the last one he did about Pigeon Key. And then, of course, you've got different portraits, uh, different genres. And there's nothing quite like his carriage that carries him around town. We see Durf all the time, and many people feel he is pretty much a Key West institution, the Key West burn man. Check out this art. It's special stuff. Yeah, but, people tend to make a bigger deal about it than I do because it's what I do. I just kind of take it for granted and I mean, it's all about sharing. And it's Key West, and it's, so my thing celebrates the sun. Uh, I'm a little bit of a character, and it's it's art, a um, little bit of science. Sometimes it's even a little bit of comedy, but I'm looking for a new writer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Durf has got it down. He's got it down. This is the life, no doubt. It's Friday. The full moon, the big sun in Durf in front of Key West Bait and Tackle. Marlon, have a great day, thanks. So just in case, in case you were interested, I figured I'd bring you some of our Key West sun in a different form. And check back. Facebook.com forward slash Fish Monster Magazine.